Hi, this is Austin, and welcome to your 7th Roblox with a scripting tutorial. Tonight we're going to talk about something called loops. So, as you might have inferred from the name of loops, loops repeat themselves, uh, usually until a certain condition is met. You don't want them to go on forever because that will crash your studio window, and you certainly wouldn't want that. So, we have the output open, we're going to dive right in loops. Uh, there are three different kinds of loops. There's for loop, while loop, and repeat loop. There's also something called a break which helps you end your loop. I'll show you how that works. Uh, so first we're gonna go over the for loop. Uh, you might have heard of the generic for loop. Uh, it goes for IV and pairs do, and then stuff that usually has to do with tables. Uh, we're not going to go over that because we haven't gone over tables yet, and I feel like tables are necessary to teach the generic for loop. But we're going to say for i equals 1, 10, 0.5, do. So what this means is we're for i means we're setting a start point. The this one is the starting point. The ten is the end point, and the point five is an increment. And increments, if you don't know what those are, are like uh, pretty much the number by which you do something. It's sort of like a unit of measurement, except there's no actual unit of measurement called increments, I don't think, but uh, say we're moving this brick in increments of one-fifth of a stud. Now we're moving it in increments of one stud. And now we're not moving it in increments at all. I mean, I'm sure we are just very, very small ones that we can't really detect. Uh, so back to script. Yeah, when you're setting up a for loop like this, the f you can think of them as parameters. The first number is going to be your starting point, and the second your ending point. And if you want a third one, that is your increment, by which it loops. Uh, so we're going to say for i equals 1, 10, 5, do print i. Let's see if we get anything. Yes, we got something. 1, 1.5. 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, and so on. You see the start point is 1, the ending point is 10, and it added increments of 0.5 until it reached 10. So I hope that explains for loops pretty well. Uh, I'm trying to decide if I should use a break now or later, okay, um, we're gonna say if i equals 5 then break end. Oh, we can't use just one equals sign because one is used instead of variable. We have to use two because we're comparing. So let's see what this does. Okay, it stopped it. It, th it broke the loop at 5. It just cut it with a big giant knife. It cut the loop in half. Because even though we set our starting point to 1 and our end point to 10, it stopped at 5 because we used an if statement right here. If i is equal to 5 anywhere along the way, then break end. Um, if we had just said break, then I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have worked. Yeah. Workspace dot script uh, line six end expected to close four at line three near end of function. That's what EOF means, end of function. So yeah, that wouldn't have worked because that's just how Lua works. It needs that end right there. Actually, it's end of the if statement, I believe. So yeah, that's how four and break works. Um, so, 
If you've uh, dabbled around in free model scripts, uh, you might have seen something like while true do, and this is pretty much an infinite loop. I know I said that uh, we couldn't do infinite loops without crashing your studio window before, but this is an exception because while while whatever is true do code whatever it is this is sort of hard to explain it it's stupid uh, but yeah this is it'll pretty much run forever well in your server uh, while well, true do wait one You'll, you usually want to do a wait because I think that helps it not to crash I don't know every one second it prints high so yeah or instead of doing that we could do while wait one uh, oh no that's stupid of me while wait one do print high and this does the same thing every one second it prints high see so yeah, that's usually how while loops work I guess or, or they could use to be uh, to update text on a button. Like, say you're playing a mini game and it uh, had a GUI that said map, and then whatever map uh, it was. It, there'd probably be a script somewhere in there that says while true do script dot parent dot text equals whatever variable you set up earlier to define the map whatever the current map is that is uh, yeah so I guess that explains the concept of while loops pretty well now we're going to uh, look at repeat loops okay so first to set up a repeat loop you just oh uh, yeah ignore that red line for now you just type put in repeat and then if you can press enter it'll do an until for you. Hey guys, back again. Uh, so I actually just uploaded this video to YouTube and I found out that the last minute and a half or so was just a black screen because I don't know, something messed with the recording software. I have no idea but I'm just going to go ahead and explain repeat loops again. Uh, script. Okay, so when you set up a repeat loop, just type repeat, press enter, and it'll have the until there for you. So we're gonna wanna set a variable called i, set it equal to one. Uh, we're going, the code in between here is what repeats. So we're gonna say print i, i equals i plus plus one. So this is uh, until i equals five. Two equal signs because we're comparing these two and not setting a variable. So uh, what this is going to do is go it's going to keep printing i and it's going to i is going to increase by one every time it prints. And we're going to add a weight here so it'll now nah, point five. So every half of a second it'll print this. Um, yeah. And it stopped at four because it well it didn't stop at four, it stopped at five, it just didn't print five because that's where we told the code to stop. So that is the concept of repeat loops. Uh, I'm terribly sorry about the messed up upload. I don't know if any of you guys saw it before, but yeah, I'm gonna combine this clip with the first part of the tutorial and hope that it fixes. So please subscribe, like the video if you learned something. If you want, uh, post some questions, post questions and comments if I didn't cover something or you don't understand something. Thanks for watching, and the next tutorial might have said already is probably going to be on built-in functions. 
so I'll see you next time.